Hi guys, this is section 9.1, which is adding and subtracting polynomials. But we're also going to define and classify polynomials as well. Okay, so first, a monomial is a number, variable, or product, or quotient of numbers and variables. So I got some examples. So this is a monomial. This is a monomial. 2y is a monomial. Anything by itself that doesn't have plus or minus, so it's not a sum or, or a difference, so if it's a product or a quotient, these are all monomials, okay? The degree of a monomial, when you want to classify a monomial by the degree, it's the sum of the variable's exponents. So you got to look at the variables and add up the exponents. If it's zero, there is no degree. If it's a constant, just a number, the degree will be one. So for example, three is a monomial, the degree is zero x is a monomial, the degree is 1. 3x, your degree is still 1 because we're only looking at this invisible 1 here. Okay, There's a 1 exponent, so that's why the degree is 1. In 4x squared, you can see the x squared, so the degree is 2. In this one, there's you need to, um, again, add up the degrees of the variables. So it's the sum Remember, it's the sum. So it's 1 plus 1 plus 1, so your degree is 3 on this one as well. Okay? Um, this last one, your degree would be 8 because there's an invisible 1 here. So 2 plus 1 plus 5 is 8. Okay, so that's how you find the degree of a monomial when you look at the monomial. Be careful because I'm going to show you the degree of a polynomial later. Okay, a polynomial definition is a monomial or more two or more monomials um, that are added together. So a monomial is also a polynomial. Okay, This is, you can see it's two monomials added together, so that's a polynomial. Or you can see there's four of them, four monomials that are added together, um, and that is also a polynomial. Just for future reference, a monomial is also considered a term. So this is like saying one term or one monomial, two terms or two monomials. These are like a four-termed polynomial, okay? So just heads up with that. Okay, the degree of a monomial, again, was um, the sum of the variables exponents. The degree of a polynomial, so this one is going to be a little different, okay? So the degree of a polynomial is the, the degree, the, I'm sorry, the degree of the polynomial is the degree of the highest monomial within that polynomial. So again, I know it seems wordy. But if you look at this polynomial, we look at this monomial, the degree of this one is 4, the degree of this one is 2, and the degree of this one is 1. So the largest one is 4, so my degree is 4. Okay, when I look at this polynomial, the degree of this one is 7, because there's 2 plus 5. The degree of this one is 4 plus 1, which is 5. And the degree of this one is just a 1. So the biggest degree is 7. So the degree of this polynomial is 7 because it's the biggest degree or the highest degree from each monomial. Okay? When you're doing standard form of a polynomial, you need to order the monomials from greatest to least. So you can see I got a couple examples here. This degree is 4, this degree is 3, this degree is 1. So it, that's in standard form. In this one, it's okay to have a negative in front. I know in the past... When we did standard form of linear equations, you had to make it positive. This is okay because you're just looking at the degree. So this degree is 6, this degree is 5, this degree is 1, so I'm sorry, 0. And so this one goes first because you put it highest degree monomial first. So here's another, a quick example. Which one do you think would go first? So we, what we need to do is figure out the degree of each one. So the degree of this monomial is 1. The degree of this monomial, there's an invisible one, so it's 3. And the degree of this one would be 4. So you can see I would rearrange it. So it would be 8x squared y squared minus 4xy squared plus 7x. Okay. So that's how you put it into standard form. You just arrange it from greatest degree down to the least. If it turned out that they had the same degree, you would go by alphabetical order. So for example, if you had x squared y plus xy squared, you can see that they're both degree 3, 
but you go alphabetical as the X has more, the X has a higher degree than that one. Okay? So now classifying polynomials, and I'll close the light because I know it's glaring. Classifying polynomials using two different things. So we're going to use the degree and the number of terms or number of monomials within the polynomial. Okay, so a constant, a zero degree is called a constant. So example, a number, just like a number four, that's a constant. A degree of one is a linear, just like our linear equations when you had y equals mx plus b or y equals 3x. So if it's just y equals 3x or just 3x, that's a linear because your you're degree is one. This one, your degree is two, it's called quadratic. And I know people think of four as quadratic, but it's actually degree two. If the degree is 3, it's cubic. Again, remember, x, 5x cubed. Okay, so it's cubic. And then 4 and above is just 4th degree, 5th degree, 6th degree, etc. Okay, so constant is just a number. Linear is x to the first power. Quadratic, x to the second power. Cubic, x to the third. 4th degree is x to the fourth. 5th degree is x to the fifth, etc. Okay, going classifying polynomials by the number of terms or monomials in each one. If there's only one term, like 3x, it's a monomial. If there's two terms, like 4x plus 2, that's a binomial. Think of um, the number of wheels on a bicycle. That's a bicycle, too. Tricycle or trinomial, there's three different terms, and you can see them. I know, I don't know, one, two, three, this is one, two, this is one. And anything with more than three or four or more goes as a polynomial. Okay? And again, the tricky thing is that they are actually all polynomials, but the, the more specific would be monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial, four or more, okay? So here's some examples. I have three x squared plus four x. We need to classify them using the degree and the number of terms, okay? So the first thing is the degree, and we look for the highest degree, and this that's this one, so it's two, so we know it's gonna be a quadratic, and there's two terms, so it would be a binomial. So be a quadratic binomial. Okay, in this term, in this um, polynomial, the degree is five, so it'd be a fifth degree, and there's three, so it'd be a trinomial. Okay, and I'm just going to abbreviate. On this one, you can see it's to the third degree, so it's a cubic. It's a cubic because it's third degree, and one term would be a monomial. Okay, and this one you can see it's a one degree, so it's a linear. And there's two terms, so it'd be a linear binomial. And this one you can see there's the degree is four, and there's four terms, so it'd be a fourth degree polynomial. And this last one would be a constant, because there's no variable, so it'd be a constant monomial because there's only one term or one monomial okay and that's how you classify them using degree and the number of terms so degree look for the highest degree first and you put that first a quadratic degree etc and then you look at how many terms there are how many monomials there are and you put that okay so that's a kind of important one there adding polynomials okay so I, there's two different ways of doing it. So I'm going to show you both the vertical and horizontal. Um, whichever one you choose is okay. Um, so vertical, what you want to do is line up. So because it's adding, you can actually just drop these off, drop off the parentheses, and move this underneath here. And what you want to do is line up your like terms. So it's pretty simple. So this would be 7x to the second power. Remember, you leave the exponent the same, excuse me, minus 2x, and then minus 3, and there's your answer. If you're going to do it this way, what you want to do is 4x squared, you want to put the like terms together, and then plus 7x minus 9x, plus negative 1 minus 2, okay, and you get the same answer, so you get 7x squared minus 2x minus 3. Again, you get the same answer here or here. Personally, I like the vertical one. Um, if you like this one, you can do that.
So adding polynomials is pretty simple. The subtracting one is the one I wanted to make sure that you get. When you have a minus with the parentheses, remember you have to distribute the negative. Oops, and I actually have four. You have to distribute the negative in. Okay, so think of it as negative one if you want to. So when I line it up this way, oops, my example is wrong. There should be a three up there. So when you line them up, you want to line up the like terms. So I'm going to put minus 3x cubed minus 7x squared, because I'm distributing in negative, plus 2x, and then plus 9. Okay, so you can see I lined up all my like terms in order. And there's nothing with the 9, so it just goes by itself. When I add it up, I get negative x cubed minus 2x squared minus x and then plus 9. Okay? If, we, if you're going to do it this way, when you drop it off again, so you get 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 3x squared minus 7x, oops, this should have been a 3, I'm sorry, um, squared plus 2x plus 9. Okay. Um, move this down a little. Now I want to combine my like terms, this and this. So this is another way you could do it. So I get negative x cubed. Ooh, what happened here? Sorry. Negative x cubed. Then I would put this one and this one, and I get minus 2x squared. Then I'll put this one and this one, and I get minus x. And then I just drop down the 9 by itself, the plus 9. So you get the same answer again, um, just differently. Ver this one vertical, you line them up. Horizontal, you combine like terms. The major thing I wanted to show you is make sure you distribute your negative. Okay, that's section 9.1. Hope this helps.